Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video and welcome to another episode of Spilling the Tea with me. I am James Caldwell speaking for Spillaboy.com and again, thank you so much for tuning in with me this week. You know what? There wasn't a whole, whole lot that went on this week. Um, there, not too much. Not too much. You know, um, lots of good news. And some things was kind of like, hmm. But let's just start off with this. Because, you know, every week I always have somebody who, for me, is the absolute T. So let's actually start off with that. And I want to start off with that person. That person is Shonda Rhimes. Shonda Rhimes. Yes, creator of Scandal. She has basically led the way this past week with three series airing on the same network, which is ABC. Um, she has Scandal, she has Grey's Anatomy, and she also has her new uh, lawyer drama starring Viola Davis, which is How to Get Away with Murder. Guys, if you haven't seen it, you are literally doing yourself a disjustice because How to Get Away with Murder is the shit. Okay, so tune into that. That comes on at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock on uh, Thursday nights. Fabulous. I really, really enjoyed it. But she came in with 14.3 million people watching on the debut. Um, and Scandal came right in behind it with 12.2 million. So that's, you know, it is what it is. Shonda, whatever you're doing... It's working. It's working. You continue to do it. And for me this week, Shonda Rhimes, darling, you are the T. I would love to get the chance to write with her and work with her. Just the way she writes is so ruthless and, and unapologetic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, moving on. The T. What's the T? George Clooney finally tied the knot. George and his wife, I hope I'm not saying her name wrong. I think it's Amal. She, they were married in Venice by Walter Veltroni, who is actually the former mayor of Rome. So finally, somebody put their hands on him, baby, and made him tie the knot because, you know, he swore he wasn't going to get married again. And the girls was just as happy with dating him, with him not giving them any commitment. But this new little lady, honey, she has sunk her claws right on into him. So, hey, congratulations to those two. Um, then there was, there's, this is the one thing this week. It's like a baby boom. This is most of what my, my program is today. A baby boom. I don't know what it's all about. America's Next Top Model. Two of my absolute favorites from the show. They were actually both from season three, which was Yaya. Yaya actually had, um, she gave birth to a baby boy. And then Eva, who actually won that season, Eva is actually carrying. So congratulations to you ladies. Um, that's wonderful. It's always wonderful to bring some life into the world. I'm glad to see that they're getting their grown woman on. Um, here's a shocker for you. Still on the baby boom. Tyler Perry's girlfriend, and I think her name is, is Jalila, Jalila, Jalila Beckel. She's expecting. So Tyler's going to be a father. Um, literally, last Friday, while walking the red carpet, the... Uh, for the premiere of his new movie, Gone Girl, the Associated Press came right out and asked Tyler, you know, what's up with the, the rumors about the pregnancy? And he confirmed it. So, Tyler Perry has a baby on the way. So, congratulations to him as well. Now, here's one that I was side-eyeing. And again, that's it's her business. But Kiki Wyatt is pregnant. Kiki, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Kiki Wyatt of R&B Divas Atlanta. Kiki is pregnant yet again with her 5011th baby. <laughs> and so, you know, that girl, I don't know. It's like every time Michael breathes on Kiki, Kiki gets pregnant. But no, all jokes aside, this is going to be Kiki's seventh child. Um... So, congratulations to Kiki. I guess we'll hear all about this in the next season of R&B uh, Divas Atlanta. That child's having another baby. I just, I can't even get over it. Congratulations, Kiki and Michael. So, all right, guys. 
So that's basically it. Baby, like I said, is a big baby boom. Everybody got everything going on. Everybody's having babies. Wonderful. I got some news, guys. I had a little birdie told me that um, somebody that we know from the past, Miss Tiffany Pollard, a.k.a. New York, from Flavor of Love, who is, I don't care what anybody says, Tiffany Pollard is the queen. She's the actual queen of reality. She's the first girl. She put the shit on the map. She's a girl we all love to hate, and nobody could take that title from her. That bitch did it, and she did it to death. Nene does a hell of a job, but Tiffany Pollard is where it all started. She was definitely the girl that we all love to hate. Um, now, she actually announced that she's actually working on a new reality show called Ratchet Queens. So we will definitely be keeping our ears and our eyes open for that. Because I'm sure it's going to be complete foolishness with her involved. Because that damn New York was something else. She really was. Okay, guys. Moving on. Here, I started up today with Shonda Rhimes and how proud I am of her. And she is actually the T. Thursday was a big night. It was a big night for Shonda with her three premieres for the season. And, the, you know, just rolling out. Uh, how to get away with murder. Well, you know, there's never going to be a time when you could do something good and nothing bad ever pops up. So, naturally, during the show's running on Twitter, People Magazine made some very insensitive and sideline racist tweets while the premiere of How to Get Away with Murder aired. That was last week on the 25th. Um, ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. They tweeted, um, waiting on, waiting for Viola to break into you is kind, you is smart, you is important. Now, if you guys don't know, that's one of her lines from the, from, uh, the help where she actually was playing a maid. They're just being nasty because in this program, she's not playing a maid. She's not playing anything that is stereotypical, um, Negro, you know what I mean? She's a lawyer. She's well dressed. You know, her hair's hooked up. You know, very, you know, America. It, it has nothing to do with black or white. It could have been a white character, a white woman playing the same character. They were just being racist and being nasty. Um, and some of the tweets that actually tweeted back were actually Caucasians that were saying, out of order. You are absolutely out of order. There was one um, woman, I can't remember her name, but she tweeted, and it was a Caucasian woman that tweeted that People Magazine needs to fire whoever they have as an intern that's actually handling their Twitter page. So, and I agree. I agree. They were just being nasty. Um, and they did actually, they pulled down the tweet, you know, after there was some negative feedback coming back. And there was one more that they actually put out when Scandal was on. They literally wrote out there, um, Olivia's back in straight hair, so you know she means business. Really? This is how we doing this? For real? A mess. And that was the thing, because if you watch Scandal, Olivia had her hair natural. It was just washed and it was just dry, curly. In the very beginning of the program, and then when she went back, because she was on an island, and when she went back into D.C., she had her hair straight in a wrap. Just being nasty. Being nasty. But then they went ahead, and they issued an apology tweet. You know, and it says, uh, you know, we love how to get away with murder and the help, where that quote was from, um, but it was stupid and insensitive, and it won't happen again. Now, that's nice that you felt the need to go ahead and uh, apologize, but that's what bothers me. Because the apology ain't shit, it's bullshit, because in the beginning, you said what the fuck you meant in the beginning. You meant that old nasty bullshit that you said in the beginning. And I don't know, I guess everybody is saying okay for the little um, apology. It, it ain't making me feel good. It's some old bullshit. I hate when they do that. I hate when people make gay comments, when they make uh, 
racial slurs or slurs about heavy people or just any group of people. And then after you get called on your bullshit, you turn around and come back and issue an apology. Fuck your apology because you don't mean it. Because if nobody had ever called you on it, the shit would have rolled and flew. So whatever. That's that old bullshit. And everybody should not buy People Magazine. Don't buy it. That's how you fix it. You hit them in their goddamn pockets. Don't buy their little punk ass magazine. Anyway, guys, on to what is my favorite part, which is my sound spill. All right, guys, this week, my thing that I am pumping in my car and in my house is by none other than Avery Sunshine. If you don't know her, you need to take some time and get to know her. She is the one of the prettiest um, girls that I've seen, well, she's not a girl, she's a woman, but she's very pretty as she works, she rocks, uh, uh, basically her hair is not as shaved as mine, but it's very, very short, like a crovatus type of thing. Beautiful. She is beautiful. Makeup's always on point. She is one of our thicker girls. She's a beautiful girl with a beautiful voice. She is just loaded with talent. She plays the piano and the keyboard and she does all these other things and she's done backup for, um, other people, but she has a song called All In My Head that I absolutely love. I love it, love it, love it. You have to go out and get it. It's actually on her first album, and I believe it is a self-titled album, Avery Sunshine, and it's called All In My Head, and she basically tells this story, and everybody's not going to admit to this, but it happens to folks. The story is basically of this relationship she has and all in her head the relationship's going one way but it's really a whole nother thing that's not really what's going on so it's basically that kind of story it was all in my head I love it I love the way it was written I love the way she presents it her vocals are dead spot on you can't get them Avery Sunshine I'm telling you. And you know some of you have been through that thing where, oh, that's my boyfriend. He don't know he's my boyfriend, but that's my boyfriend. You don't have to admit it, but you know y'all done been there, child. Just like it was all in her head, baby. So that was it. That's my sound spill for this week. Um, I really appreciate you guys keeping up with me and watching this series. I love you guys. And I do want to put out there, I have some of the best followers on my YouTube channel that you could even ask for. Um, I want to give a shout out to one of my one of my people. Her name is Jade. And I just love Jade. She is just the sweetest person. She's very sweet. She is a very um you know a very sweet character and she's just she's she's a sweetie. She really is. She's an absolute sweetie. And I had gone and I looked around and Miss J gave me a very, very nice present that I got, and it literally, it, it just took me, it, it took me off of my, my game. It just, it threw me off. It really did. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all that you do. She's constantly uh, sending people to the channel, and she didn't have to do it, but she, she gave me a beautiful present. Um, on Saturday, I got it, and I was just in awe, and I really appreciate it. Jay, thank you so much. Mwah! And her and the rest of my followers, I really appreciate you guys, because if it wasn't for you guys listening, who the hell would I be talking to? But anyway, thank you very much, Jade. I love you, and you guys, thank you so much for watching. You can thumbs up the video or thumbs down. You guys know how that works. Leave me comments down on the bottom. And I will see you guys with Spilling the Tea again next week. Bye, guys.